I got home from work and I asked my son if he wants to go dirt biking. We all ride in the family. And he said no. No big deal. A little hurt a little bit, but no big deal. The next day I asked him again. I said, hey, Baron, you want to go dirt biking? He said no. The day after that, I asked him again, hey, Baron, you want to go dirt biking? Now I was starting to get irritated and started to take it personally, as we sometimes do. Several days went by. Next thing you know, two weeks went by. And finally, I was fed up. I came to my own conclusion as to why he kept saying no. So I made up a decision. That day, the next day, I was not going to ask him. I woke up, went through the whole day, and I did not ask him if he wanted to go ride in. And he never brought it up. Nope. Now, the funny thing is, is I thought I succeeded in not asking him. But as I laid down that night, I realized I failed. Because I didn't ask him because I thought that's the story he was telling me and not what I really wanted. The next day I got up, and he asked me. He said, Dad, do you want to go ride in? I was ecstatic. So I got on my bike. We got all geared up. We went riding. It was one of the best rides we had ever done. We got back. He said it was fantastic. Had a lot of fun. And then he paused. Have you ever noticed that pauses have the most impact? He paused and looked at me. And in that moment, I knew I screwed up. He looked at me and he said, Dad, why didn't you ask me yesterday? And my gut instinct was to just lose it and tell him about all the times I asked, and he said no. But I was reminded of a story of a simple saying. Sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. Sometimes we read into stories, and we come up with the, our own conclusions, and they're based on nothing. Ever heard the expression, when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me? And this was a simple reminder from a seven-year-old that we shouldn't make conclusions. Sometimes they're just busy. Sometimes they have a million things going on. When you're driving down uh, the Kingsway and you're avoiding potholes and some guy, girl, cuts you off and you come to a million conclusions about that driver. They're a jerk. They don't think about other people. They're careless. When you have no idea what's going on in their life in that moment. Thank <music> you.